Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, LSB Spectra, here in another video in Space Engineers. Um, we are going to go make a base on the moon, but first I want to show you the preparations I made. So I fixed the door. Turned out the door, anything that has computer chips, uh, you can hack, is the term, make it yours if uh, someone else owns it. And I didn't do that to the doors like I'd done to everything else. So apparently the doors have chips in them. So I fixed those. Let me show them to you. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that cool? I love it. Uh, last time I played this, uh, before I started this series, we didn't have those. Anyways, I prepped the la this uh, ship for landing on the moon, and so I've added some things. First off, when we land, we're going to need a ramp down to our surface, so we don't have to use so much hydrogen. And we've got little landing struts. Yeah, I know, it's not a lot. But I've added some more two more thrusters to the bottom for landing, and... I replaced the Gatling gun up top for asteroid protection and just general protection. So we are going to go find ourselves a lovely spot on the moon and uh, set up a base. So let's get to that. Um, oh, that poor thing is still kind of smoking. It's okay, we're not to the point where we need to be protecting ourselves against someone from the inside. Close our awesome bay doors. I think that's so cool. I love it. We're definitely going to be building more of these in the future. I think they're awesome. Except maybe not a double, because I don't like pressing two buttons. Probably just a single. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's hop into our ship. Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming this way is front, right? I don't know which way. Wait, hold on. Press that one. So I need to be facing this way. Wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll go this way. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, okay, it is right. Sorry. Had a bit of a, a brain cramp there. Where's the moon? There is the moon. Now, I read on the wiki that there are rock nodes on the moon that I need to be... Let me make sure my dampers are off. And we are acquiring speed. This thing is not fast. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um... I need to find some rock nodes, because that's apparently where minerals are on the moon. Again, sometimes it feels like the wiki's kind of old and no one's updating it. But we're going to kind of look for maybe some discoloration on the surface. Preferably towards the cap up here by the ice, so I can still get ice for oxygen. Um, and then we're going to kind of find ourselves a nice place to land, nice place for a base. And uh, start setting up a basic base that will uh, suit us. What I want to do is I want to get a platform for ships, a basic platform, and kind of a little inside hut, so to speak, where I can place like an assembler, refinery, and all that stuff, and uh, prep it for making our ship. And then I want to be sure, before I put any assembler or anything like that inside, I want to make sure I put in some turrets to defend against asteroids so we don't have it completely destroyed constantly. Shouldn't be coming in that fast. <laughs> oh boy, am I gonna? Uh oh. No 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 no. Ooh, our little stilts. Are my thrusters not good enough to actually hold me up? Is that the problem here? Well, all I can say is that good thing I had them, because they just saved our ship. Definitely should have slowed down. We only pretty much lost those two, so. Come on. Okay, we're just going to turn off dampeners. Everything's breaking. Let's let's see what damage has been done. We are going to turn off our jetpack. There we go. Oh, air's flying out. Turn off jetpack again. Oh no, that's jetpack. Oh boy, so much for all of our lander stuff. 
That's okay. At least it, you know, dampened the fall in my stupidity while landing. I guess that's what it was really there for. Oh, you poor thing. Maybe we should lift it back up. Did we destroy thrusters? Oh my gosh, we totally did. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get this kind of back in the air and replace some of the stuff. Up. Up. <laughs> it's not going up. Ugh. I've broken it. You guys aren't strong enough. Do better. Okay, we're going to worry about this later, just because I really don't want to. So instead, we are going to figure out what we're going to do for our station. And we are a go. <laughs> okay, let's get a basic base going for everything. We let's start off by building our hut area where we're going to store everything. So we're just going to kind of continue to build that platform. I'm going to build it out a little bit and fill it in. It's going to take some time. Um, I'm assuming that's why you would build a ship with a bunch of, uh, of the welding torches on it for things like this. So you can just mass weld steel really fast. Uh, but we're just going to kind of do a hut and put defenses around it with turrets and then bring our stuff inside. So, yeah, I'll be back. Uh-oh. Don't hit my platform. Don't do it. Where are you, meteors? Shoot it. Quickly. Everybody, stay away from my platform. It's brand new. We're definitely going to have to set defenses. Okay. So I wanted to ask you guys a question now that I've been distracted. About halfway through, now I obviously skipped me building all this. In the future, do you guys want me to do some kind of weird sped up, not weird, a sped up deal where I kind of fast forward, but you still see what I'm building, like with maybe some kind of music in the background, some royalty free music, obviously but something in the background so you can kind of see what I'm doing instead of me just completely skipping it, or do you want me to just continue to completely skip it? Um, let me know in the comments below, um, and I'll try to find some music that I can do that with. Uh, so I don't know what music I'll do that with yet, but if you want me to do something like that, please let me know. Um, or maybe tell me what kind of things you'd want to see that for, maybe not everything. Anyways, please leave that in the comments below. For now, we'll just skip. Hey guys, okay, so I've done some quite a bit of work on this. You may have noticed some things changed. I don't remember what shirt I was wearing last time I recorded. Um, it's another day, but I've worked on this quite a bit. Um, now, you may notice right off the bat that I'm not filling in all the gaps, probably just because I'm not, I'm not sure I have enough steel and we need to make sure we have enough of everything to make our small ship. And so I'm being kind of stingy on where I fill in things, or at least I was after I got started. Um, and so we're going to kind of start to fill in this place. I've already put the refinery in just because that was really big and annoying. And then I remembered I wanted to record this part. And so we are going to kind of prep this lovely ship that we acquired and move everything of it into here. That's necessary, necessary for our base. Um, and eventually we are going to say goodbye to our lovely, uh, commandeered ship that we pirated off a pirate and turn it into a miner, and then from there, build lots of stuff. Um, so we're gonna start moving stuff in. So let's start off with an assembler. We only we only need one. Um, now, obviously I haven't color coded anything as of yet, um, and everything that was on the ship seemed to have some really awesome coloring. So I wanted to ask, what do you guys think should be our color scheme for you know, the majority of our stuff, obviously we'll do, I'll do, you know, unique cover, uh, colors for unique things. What is that? Why can't I pick this up? There we go. That was weird. 
I should have enough. Yeah, I have enough space. Anyways, so what do you think our color? Let me out. Color scheme should be for our ship, or for our stuff. Now you may notice body location. I died while building this, but luckily we had a medical bay. So don't worry about that body. <laughs> okay, so I'm leaving enough room around the outside for like conveyor belts and stuff, which we'll figure out at a at a much later date. I'm thinking of just kind of putting everything, you know, material-wise back here. And that left enough, yeah, that left enough room. So let's go ahead. Oh boy, everything feels really sticky. Now, as we build more things, I may need to lower down the graphics of what we've got going in this game so that we can accommodate more and more stuff without lag because I'm also recording on this PC as well as playing. So, sorry about that until I can get better uh, RAM and uh, a better graphics card, which my graphics card is actually really good. Uh, it's pretty decent, but I definitely need more RAM. So, at some point I'll get that for this game because I have a feeling it's going to require more and more as we build bigger and cooler stuff, which we are going to. So, I'll just have to prepare for that. And there's our assembler. We definitely don't need two like we had before. And you may have noticed I made this big space. I wanted, I didn't want to build something really small and cramped and just to have to expand it later and move stuff around. I kind of wanted to kind of get a base basis down of what it's for the most part going to look like. I don't know why I dipped down like that. Okay, so now we're... That's going to be the hardest part. We need to get rid of this. Uh, what's... That's what's inside you. We need to move all of this. Ooh, that's a lot of weight. Oh, we'll move it in here for now. And I don't know why I have... Oh, it must have been in the assembler. Oh, that's what was on the ground. It was the iron. Okay. That's all coming. Move that. And all of that. Through this. And then you just need to grind this sucker down. Now my oxygen tank that's just to the right is, is full, so I'm gonna I I guess you could say attempt. Ugh, I don't know. I'll just probably be losing some oxygen as well as this battery, I'll be losing some battery power. Which is a little bit annoying, but so is life. Or so things go, I should say. Um, as you can kind of tell, right now I'm kind of putting most everything right here, generation, uh, generating-wise. So I believe number two was my oxygen generator, yeah. So number two, you are going to go there. We're gonna so we got a refinery assembler, oxygen oxygen generator. I believe there's another kind of refinery. It's like an arc, or maybe it's assembler. Arc something. I don't know. Let's weld this up. Okay. Um. So we're obviously gonna have a lot of space in there, which is good. Um, I, I wanted that, so not too big of a problem. Okay, what's next? Let's do um, a little bit more of our living quarters, shall we? Let's, um, what am I looking for? A grinder. Let's take down our medical room, as scary as that is. We will reset it up. Oh, the reason I died, I forgot to mention this. I placed down my refinery and built it, and then the turrets on this ship started shooting me and the refinery and destroyed the refinery. Um, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I should be really concerned about. Oh, I'll come, I'll come back for you. Don't despawn. Um, so I just turned them off of attacking neutral and stations. I'm assuming it's the neutral part that was the problem. Um, let's put, we want this to look good. 
So we're going to put this right there so we can kind of... Why can't I place that there? It likes it there, but it doesn't like it there. Well, fine, you picky little jerk. And then we definitely need to move... We're going to put four turrets on top of our base for meteor defense. Because we don't want... Oh, I didn't even put stuff in it. Almost there, and medical room's back. Sweet. That's going to look good. Um, eventually we'll finish all this flooring. Okay, so let's go get our cockpit next. Okay, control station. Let's see here. Nine. We are going to put that... We're going to put that kind of by the door. I'm going to put that right Yeah. Right there. I like that spot. So let's set this up by that. And then we will put the battery pack next to that. Okay, so let's try and weld these, and then we need to get those turrets on top of our main building to help protect it a little bit better. Um, oh, do power cells just, like, break down? Inventory. Oh, wow. Do I have any? I have a couple. Is that going to be enough? Nope. Well, looks like we don't get one. I wonder why I didn't... I wonder if that's something that's destroyed upon destroying a power or a battery. Hmm. Interesting. That hurts a bug. We'll go make sure it's not on the floor in there somewhere. Uh, after we build this. But we definitely need to get uh, turrets up and running. I, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job at defending. I don't know. You guys may know of a better method to protect against meteors. Please let me know in the comments below if there is a better way. Other than that, I'll just... Uh, we'll hopefully finish all the plating on this house so that meteors don't just blow holes straight through completely. Um, you may have noticed that the parts I have reinforced are over the important components. <laughs> uh, or at least mostly. Okay, let's put these away. And then let's... Take what ammunition we have left and put it in this fourth one. Um, I'm not concerned about putting a weapon on my mining ship, as I don't feel like I will need to. Control panel, make sure you're not attacking either of those. Inventory, bada bing, bada boom. Meteor defense. Sweetness. Um, now, everything over here now is going to be converted into a mining ship and used to uh, fix up that. So, off camera, I am going to tear this all down and uh, hopefully finish plating up our base and keeping it alive. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. Any comments or suggestions or anything you want to put, please put down in the comment section below. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.